So we all know business can be a nervy thing when we're thinking about going into our own enterprise. So in this episode, I'm going to share with you the reality of starting your own business to give you that reassurance in taking that first step. So some people, when they're thinking of starting a business, actually don't start because they don't want to be seen starting from the bottom. And we simply forget that every successful individual that me and you know was once a beginner. Every professional was once an amateur. And the chances are, when you launch your first article, it will be shit. When you do your first marketing campaign, it will be shit. When you do your first publicly presentation, it will be shit. When you do your first sales proposal, it will be shit. And that's okay. But you can't do your 50th without doing your first. And the quicker you fail, the quicker you fail, and the quicker you understand that failure is okay, the quicker you'll get the results you simply want. So what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of people seem to think that failure and success are completely opposite ends of the spectrum, and it couldn't be further from the truth. And in fact, failure and success, they're in synergy. You can't get success without failure. And I have failed a number of times to get to the life that I have right now. And in fact, everybody I look up to, including our clients at Shift Success, who I look up to as well, have gone through little failures to get to the result they want. And what's really special about this, because most people quit, there's actually less competition for those who persevere. You see, business success, there's a higher barrier threshold because people simply aren't willing to go through the failures to get to the level of success they want, but not understanding they have to go through that process to get to that outcome. Now, there's a magical thing what happens when you actually persevere and go through those failures despite the setbacks, despite the challenges, and despite some of the embarrassment and opinions of others, is that actually those skill sets where you're failing and those things that didn't work actually seem to work and the reason for this is because you learn from those failures and that's why a failure is never really a failure as long as you keep going because you can take massive learning points from it and also if you are truly unhappy with your current career you fail by default by not even trying to change your life for the better when you deep down know you deserve better you have to fight through some of the worst days of your life to get to the best days of your life. And I wouldn't worry about the failures because they're gonna come regardless. But I would be concerned with the opportunity missed by not even trying at all to change your life. Now, people like Jack Ma, who is the founder of Alibaba, is a true inspiration. You know, he had so many failures in life. He failed at several jobs, including KFC. He failed to get into Harvard. He failed at school and college and all the exams he went through. And yet he's one of the richest and successful people on this planet. And the thing that set him apart is that he did not quit. He learned from his failures and persevered, even when times were hard. Walt Disney actually was delivering paper. His Mickey Mouse theme concept was actually rejected from MGM Studios and now he has gone on to build a legacy that is gonna stand the test of time beyond our time because he simply refused to give up. He learned from his failures, adapted his approach, and persevered. JK Rowling was a depressed single mother. She was rejected by several publishers, and now she's one of the richest and most successful authors on this planet. Why? Because she persevered. She learned from her mistakes and carried on regardless. So I really hope you get what I'm trying to say in this video. And I would really encourage that you embrace failure and let it become your friend. And before I close this video, I'm going to leave you with this. If you try, you risk failure. But if you don't, you ensure it.